Good evening and welcome. We start with some breaking news coming in. According to Arab News reports, the chief of Al-Qaeda, Ayman al-Zawahiri, has died in Afghanistan. The 69-year-old Egyptian national who was heading Al-Qaeda has reportedly died of natural causes. Al-Zawahiri was the leader of the terrorist group Al-Qaeda since 2011, succeeding Osama bin Laden. At least two senior officials who were next in line to replace him were also recently killed. That is... Hamza bin Laden, the son of former al-Qaeda leader Osama bin Laden and Abu Muhammad al-Mazri, who was killed in Iran this year. As per Arab News, al-Qaeda chief al-Zawahiri died due to natural causes. The unnamed sources from Afghanistan and Pakistan have confirmed the same. Amichai Sain, diplomatic correspondent from Israel, Can TV, joins us live from Jerusalem for more on this. Amichai, take us through the latest details you have and what this ultimately means then for Al-Qaeda. So first of all, we need to say this. The, the rumor that he has died is being speculated uh, uh, for several times now. It's not uh, uh, something that has come as a surprise, this report that he has died uh, in Af Afghanistan, that Ayman al-Zawahiri, really uh, uh, the main leaders of uh, Al-Qaeda, let's say even you can call him the spiritual guidance of this uh, terror organization, really back, coming back 20, 25 years ago, even more than that, he's one of the, really the spiritual leaders of this, uh, um, of this terror organization. He really talked about uh, how uh, gave orders how to produce terror terror bombings gave uh, Islamic uh, spiritual guidance to those who acted who wanted to act and do uh, uh, conduct terror uh, bombings. So this report that he's died um, again. It's something that has been rumored for recent months, and we still haven't seen yet a official proof that he's really uh, died. So this is another report that he's not. Alive, but still, we're waiting for an official, let's say, official statement maybe from uh, 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 the group itself about it because we haven't yet seen any. Uh, um, the, the group is not saying at this point anything about his death. And, and I must say, this is going to be a big blow for uh, Al Qaeda because even in recent years, um, as much as we can talk regarding terror organization and this issue, Al Qaeda, you know, Al Qaeda was less, let's say, popular when it came to to terror bombings. We hear more ISIS. We hear more suicide bombers that pledge allegiance to to ISIS. Al Qaeda was a bit on the side, and what happened in recent years really that this uh, 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 she this is an organization that did acted in several parts of the world but again it was less highlighted we didn't see for example a bombing in europe or a terror terror activity in europe that someone said i pledge allegiance to al-qaeda now so this is a major blow to this terror organization that might now even go further beneath the ground uh, more than she is right now Right, Amichai, I think let's leave it there. Thank you very much for that latest update. Until we have confirmation, we can take it further.